this video, we're going to turn what are escape sequences. Escape sequences are special characters characterized by a backslash, the letter and a letter or a symbol beside it. It is used in printf statements to show spaces, new lines, or symbol that cannot be outputted by using the normal way of printing. Escape sequences are found inside the double quote when you use your printf. They are useful because if you do not have escape sequences, your output of five printfs would look like this. So that you will be able to arrange them in a good manner, uh, unlike this one because they are all uh, connect, uh, printed side by side, you have to use escape sequence. Just remember that when you write your escape sequence, it should be in between the double coat of your printf. The first escape sequence that we're going to that I'm going to show you is the use of backslash n. The backslash n allows you to move the next text after the backslash n to the next line. For example, if this backslash n appeared at the end of this of the word sequence, this would mean that the word hello world, which is the next uh, printf or statement, will now appear below escape sequence. Let's take a look. As you can see, escape sequence is on the first line while because of the slash n, backslash n, uh, hello world was printed just below uh, escape sequence, the word escape sequence. You may add as many escape sequences uh, as you want as long as they are inside the double code. So, if, for example, if I'm going to add a backslash n on this area, on this portion, this would mean that the word sequence will now be moved to the next line. And then, after that, the hello world will be moved to the next line again just below the word sequence. Let us run. Let us now use another escape sequence, the backslash T. The backslash T allows you to print uh, horizontal spaces. Uh, it, is, it, it corresponds to a tab on your word processors, like Microsoft Word and other uh, word processors or editors. So in this case, line 7 uh, with the printf now contains a slash backslash t and a backslash n. So this means that uh, right after the word escape, a backslash t is uh, to be printed, which are several uh, character spaces before uh, writing down or displaying the word sequence. And after that, uh, backslash n is encountered so the next word will now be printed to the next line the output would be as you can see after the word escape there's a big space between uh, escape and sequence so that is done by your slash t backslash t I mean just like slash n you can have several or you can use several back, backslash t here i have put three backslash t to uh, emphasize that the backslash t is able to print spaces um, after the word escape let's run the program again
Another escape sequence is the double box slash. The double box slash allows you to print box slash because if you only have one box slash and you run the program, the box slash won't, won't appear because the computer expects that there is a symbol right after the box slash. As you can see here, box slash did not appear as an output. So if we want our backslash to appear as an output we use the escape sequence double backslash let's run this one again this time the backslash appeared another escape sequence that is very useful is the use of your backslash code because double code cannot be displayed as an output without using this escape sequence. For this example, I have created two backslash double quote uh, right before the word double and right after the word quote. If you did not include the code, if you did not include the backslash, then the program will cause an error. So it's very important not to miss to, to use the backslash double code to display the double code sign. Let's run the program again. As you can see here, the double code now appeared. In your output although the word double quote was not placed in the next line so in order for us to display that on the next line right below the hello world we just simply add backslash n writing the backslash n may you there are two ways that you can do that in order for you to move the double quote the word double quote to be displayed in the next line so you can either use the backslash n on line 8 right after the exclamation mark here let's run it as you can see the double quote was now moved to the next line or instead of writing it after line 8 you can also type it on your printf on line 9 so that double quote again will be, be moved to the next line either way you will have the same result escape characters are very important when, when it comes to the output you will be able to move your text on a certain position by just using these escape sequences